Hey folks, welcome to Hate to Be Grilling. Now tonight we're gonna stay here in the kitchen. We're gonna make a really simple yet delicious pasta bake. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a box of rotini, uh, one 16 ounce box. We're gonna get it going in a pot of water here as per instructions on the box. I'm gonna sprinkle me a little bit, of, a little bit of salt and pepper in here in the water with my rotini. There goes the salt, here comes the pepper. All to taste, no measurement. We got our rotini going there. I'm gonna start browning one pound of ground beef over a medium heat. Let that start to cook. Now I am gonna season the meat with some garlic powder to measurement, or to preference rather, no measurement, followed by some onion powder. Once we get that sprinkled in, we're just gonna mix it, mix it all around together. As this stuff here is cooking, we're gonna take one block of cream cheese. We're gonna set it out at room temperature, let it start to kind of soften up. All right, we're gonna drain the grease off of this. We've already kicked our heat down to a simmer. Now we're gonna add one jar of traditional pasta sauce. And you can use whatever flavor, whatever brand you like. All right, we're just gonna, now that we got this in here, we're gonna stir this around, get our ground beef nice and incorporated with this pasta sauce. Now we're gonna add one teaspoon of minced garlic. Now we're gonna stir that garlic around, get it nice and mixed in with our pasta sauce here. And we're just gonna let it set it simmer until our noodles are ready. And while our rotini is continuing to cook, we're gonna take this block of cream cheese, this eight ounce block of cream cheese, we're just gonna cube it up. There we go. Folks, we just drained the noodle, or the rotini. So we're gonna pour about half of our rotini into the bottom of a nine by 13 baking dish. Then make sure we got them good and, whoop, there we go. That's, that's pretty good. Next, I'm gonna add about half of my pasta mix, or our sauce. There we go. Next, we're gonna come in with this cute cream cheese that we cubed up. And I'm gonna take about half of the block, so about four ounces worth. I'm just gonna drop these blocks of cream cheese randomly throughout, kind of like this. Now, we're gonna come back with the rest of our rotini, pour that over the top. Then we're just gonna kind of kind of move these down, kind of spread them out, get them somewhat even. Like I said, they ain't gonna be perfect, but just gonna spread it out best you can. Followed by the rest of our pasta sauce. Pour that all over the top here. And then we're just gonna kinda spread this around best we can. It ain't gotta be perfect total coverage. Just do the best you can with it. And then we're gonna put the rest of our, or drop the rest of our cubes of cream cheese in here. Just like this. Just kinda randomly throughout the, the dish. Now we're gonna come in with some shredded cheddar. Now you could use Colby Jack, you could use Fiesta Blend, whatever you want. We're gonna kind of get a light coverage of cheese over the top here. All right, we're gonna bake this at 425 degrees just until the cheese is melted. So we really gotta stay on top of it and watch it. But until the cheese is melted and our cream cheese has kind of browned up just a little bit on the edges. So this would have been done long before now, but when I started cooking, I, <laughs> I forgot to preheat the oven to 425 degrees. So, yeah. All right, folks, we just pulled this out of the oven about 15, 20 minutes. Our cheese is beautifully melted. We started getting the brown on the tips of the cream cheese. I'm starving. I went ahead and pulled it. All right, normally I like to let it sit just a little bit when I pull something out of the oven because then it kind of cool off just a little, but as stated, I am hungry. And this is looking and smelling too dang good. So we're just gonna spoon this out a few, look at that cheese, huh? I'm gonna spoon this a little bit out on the plate. All right, so we got a little bit of here on the fork. We got some rotini the pasta sauce, the melted cheese, and the cream cheese. So let's go and give it that all important taste test. 
Hot dog, that's good, folks. It's so easy. You just throw a few simple ingredients together and bam, you got a good meal. And that cream cheese added into this really kind of, it thickens it up, right? So it's a little more filling, a very good meal. I mean, if I had started in the oven when I should have, I mean, we'd have been done 30, 35 minutes. So y'all please give this one a try, especially on them busy nights, folks. Y'all, uh, if you got some friends that's, you know they're always on the go, busy, 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 point them toward this. So y'all, as always, y'all please like, subscribe, and we'll see y'all later.